Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. RTX very kindly once again sent me some of their art supplies to try and test out and in this video I'm going to be doing just that. Experimenting whilst drawing up some character ideas in my sketchbook. In a previous video I shared with you the RTX Jumbo paint markers also while showing you how to utilise them. Thank you to RTX once again for sending me some more art supplies to try out. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and without further ado let's unbox said art supplies. To start, I'm opening the 36 acrylic marker set. So the set also comes with a nice little thank you note and a sticker code sheet. And the markers had already been arranged in the same order as the colour code stickers. I simply just had to place and stick the colour codes onto the markers. Now if the markers hadn't been in the same placement as the codes on the sticker sheet, it would have been slightly harder for me to figure out which sticker sort of goes where and on what marker. <laughs> After all of the codes were placed onto the markers, I then went on to arranging the markers in a bit more of an orderly fashion, so I was taking into consideration tonal variations and the hues. Immediately when I was watching, I noticed how quick the paint markers dried and they do look slightly different dry in comparison to when they were. These markers are non-toxic and they don't smudge or fade over time. And this is really awesome because you can prolong your creations. After arranging them better in like an orderly fashion, I then pops them back into the box in said fashion. So in the exact same way that I arranged them on the desk, I pop them back in the box that way. It's just so my brain can function a little bit. I always find this with markers, I've always got to do like a load of rearranging. I don't know why, like even with oh hoo hoo's like I have to, I had to do that in my last video, which you'll, you'll see. But yeah, like what is it with markers folks? Anyhow. <laughs> Next, I decided on trying these sim top markers, not not that kind of sim. There are some slight precautions to take when using these markers. Like, not that it's anything bad, but before using for the first time, you need to shake the ink thoroughly and evenly with the nib pointing down. And after that, you press the valve like four to five times. It recommends that on the website for RTX. However, I press the valve around about seven times max on all of these markers. So a little bit more than what is recommended on the website to get the ink to appear in the windowed body that you can see there. So the reason why I'm mentioning the precaution is because if you over tap on that valve, it can lead to ink leakage. So if the cap's open and then that happens, you're gonna have a slight disaster. So it's just something to bear in mind, like not to overdo the valve when you're tapping down on it. All of the colors though were very opaque and really, really vibrant. And it was the same for the other markers as well. Gorgeous. <laughs> You can combine these and these with them. But yeah, I like how they can all work in unison together. All of the acrylic markers by RTX can be used on a multitude of surfaces, including glass, ceramics, wood and stone. Finalise pieces with these gel pens. Now they're great for embellishing and adding in any highlights and details to just really set your piece off. <laughs> Whilst working with the acrylic markers, you can layer over any and all of your mistakes seamlessly so you can paint and draw with that little bit of extra confidence.
really happy with the art supplies sent to me for today's video. Now, I was particularly able to achieve a more stylized edge to the characters, as I typically always blend. But with these acrylic markers, I was able to achieve more quick, diverse and expressive strokes of colour rather than doing any blending. So I'm not really accustomed to drawing in this way in that sense, which meant I had lots of fun. So the supplies switched my more logical side of the brain off and I just got into that flow state. Finally, I was sent a set of 14 piece drawing pencils. So the graphites in this set all range and differentiate from 4H to 8B. They feel great when working with as well. So immediately I was able to tell that they're very high quality just by holding them. So they're really comfortable to hold for precision. The pencils are made from high quality lead, making for smooth, consistent line work. They are break resistant as well. So they allow for additional pressure on pieces when needed. And I really over sharpened them just to test how strong they are. And at no point did they have any lead breakage or rough wood appearing around the lead like the wood used for these pencils is very high quality and I just can't recommend them enough they're very strong you'll certainly be seeing me use them a lot more in future videos I've most definitely found a new favorite art supply they visually please one's eyes as well like you can immediately tell what pencil you're going to use just by looking at the color and of course your desired pencil has a name and a number so I was mainly just experimenting with these portraits, like I wasn't being too extra with them. You know, I wasn't really trying to create masterpieces here. I just wanted to experiment and get something down on the paper. So we're giving sugar spice and all things nice with these three little characters. So overall, I was quite happy with them. I, at one point I was like, oh, I don't know. And should I rip it out? But no, no, I've decided that any like mistake that I feel is overly a mistake, I'm just going to leave in my sketchbook anyway, because that's what sketchbooks are for. So no, I mean, like after... Like coming away from my sketchbook and then looking back at my sketchbook, these characters kind of grew on me. So this is what it is for today's video. I hope that you like them. So yeah, another art review. I hope to catch you all in the next video. But until next time, bye.